So last time we had uh, begun the discussion on Markov, and we left when I had given you the, the assignment to do the So to start off, I want us to solve May 2015 and 2B. Two May 2015 is 2B. So read through that question. I can't be so read through. Okay. So, if you have read the question, you have read the question, we are told to begin with a transition matrix. We are told to begin with transition matrix. Transition matrix. So I gave you the format. I gave you the format of uh, a transition matrix. So that format requires the same from, there is a company called Excellent, and then we have competitors. Competitors. Those are the two states that we have, the two states that are there. And then we are saying two excellent and then competitors. Competitors. So that is the frame from two. Thank you. 
Okay. When you are drawing a transition matrix, there are four things that should come to your mind. Four things. The first thing is this design. That this I will say from and the second thing is a row shows retentions and losses too. Note that. A column shows retentions and gains. And the third thing. And the fourth thing is that the values here in a row must always add to one. So with that in mind, then uh, we are told out of the total of the number of customers who use the company's print telephones in a given year, 20% uh, use competitors. So that is are going to be argued like this, from excellent to competitors, 0 0.2. So then that automatically means excellent retains what? 0 0.8. So that that adds to 100. I mean, at 1. And then we are told of those who are using the competitor's ribbon, that percent will switch. That percent will switch to uh, excellent. So from competitor's excellent, 0 0.3. So this is 0 0.7. As simple as simple as that. So as simple as simple as that. Okay, sorry for that assumption. So the next thing is that first the share for that first of uh, December 2015. Market share. market share as that that first December 2015. So for you to get that, you will require to come here and tell us, you will require to come here and say, if we get that first of December, 12, uh, 2015 share, 12, 
2015 share, or 2014, that is 2014, 2014, multiplied by the transition matrix. If you multiply by the transition matrix, if you multiply by the transition matrix, that will give you, that will give you that first of December 2015 share. That will give you that first of December 2015 share. Now, this is what we are calling the current times the transition matrix. You get the future. You get the future. So with that now, we are told as that December 2014, excellent, uh, excellent, we can use E to present excellent. Excellent was commanding 55%. So that is uh, 0 0.55. And therefore the competitors must have had 45%. The competitor must then be having uh, 45%. That is what the competitor hates. Or oh, this is the share as of 2014. You now multiply by the transition matrix, which we are already in the know that it is 0 0.8, 0 0.3. Uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 and 0 So multiply that, multiply, So what is the answers? What are the answers? You say uh, 0 0.55 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.45 times 0.3. And you get 0 0.575. That is for the excellence. That is for excellent. 
and then you put these ones multiply by these ones so that you say 0.55 times 0 0.2 plus 0.45 times 0.7. And I'm getting 0 0.425. That is for the competitors. That is for the competitors. That is for the competitors. Are we okay with that? Uh, then the next one we are told is. Uh, the long run market share. Long run market share. Long run market share. The long run market share. So the long run market share is how you go about it. You say let X be share for exit. Share for exit. Share four excellence. Uh, why share four competitors? Share four competitors. Share for competitors. Where, where X plus Y should be equal to one. X plus Y should be equal to one. And that is so, it means Y is one minus. X. Y minus X. Then if you have X here, the share for excellent, then the share for the competitor, instead of writing Y, you now write one minus X. Instead of writing y, multiply by the transition matrix. Our transition matrix is 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. and 0.7. Should be equal to x and 1 minus x. That is how it should be. I told you at the long run or the equilibrium, the current is equal to the future. That's why they are similar. So we just multiply now, just like we have multiplied this other one. 
So we will say this one times this. Eh? So we say x times 0 0.8, we get 0 0.8 x. 0 0.8 x. Then this one, this one to multiply 0 0.3. So that it will be plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 x. And that should give us who? X. So the reason as to why we said y is equals to one minus x was to help us end up with just one unknown. You can see this one has just one unknown x. So that we just have one equation. Otherwise, if we did not do that, we would have put y here. And our equation here would have had two unknowns. And with two unknowns, you require two equations. So there is no need if you can get what you needed with one equation. So consequently, there will be no need of taking this one. We multiply by like this because this one serves the purpose. So putting like terms together, putting like terms together, if I'm left with this 0 0.3 on its side here, and then I say equals this x, then this one to go to the other side, uh, minus 0 0.8 x, and this one becomes plus 0 0.3 x. So 0 0.3 equals, take your calc and give me this, 1 minus 0 0.8 plus 3. Zero point five x. So based on that, x should be equal to what? X should be equal to zero point six. So x should be equal to zero point six. So thus, y should be equal to 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4. And hence, we have the company here, wrong run, share, and the company, So for excellence, they will command 60%, that is 0 0.6. And the competitors will command 40% in the wrong hand. If you have any question, you can raise it. So we are okay. Okay, those who are online, are you okay? Brian, Catherine, Ridon, and Quinta.
Yes, Quinta, Brian. Yeah, that's Now let's go to the question of December. Is it done? December 2013. December 2013. Question one C. December 2013, question 1C. And we are told Uduma Hospital operates three types of uh, wards, namely intensive care units, high dependency units, and the general ward. The average monthly cost of maintaining, maintaining a patient in each of the wards. Uh, 400,000, 200,000, and 100,000 for the ICU, high dependency in general ward, respectively. So we are given all that information, and then we are told to get the matrix of transition capabilities. So let's design that. The rest we shall read as we fill in. So again, we are required to do. Transition matrix. Transition matrix. I have told you when we are dealing with transition matrix, there are four things that you need to bring in mind. And the first one is uh, the first one is the frame of the matrix. Is the frame of the matrix. And in the frame, we have said this side to say from. So it is from ICU, high dependency, and general wards. There are three of them. So you say from. Then this side you tell us two ICU, high dependency, and the general ward. So that is the frame of the transition matrix. Mm. 
you get the frame of the transition matrix. Then the other three things are the row will be showing you retentions and losses, while a column will be showing you retentions and gains. And then the values in the row must add to one. So we start reading and recording. Information one says 50% of the patients in ICU at the beginning of the month will remain in ICU. So that is attention to them. So it is a case of from ICU to ICU 0 0.5. We record it there, 0 0.5. Proceeding, we are told and 50% will be transferred to high dependency. So that is the case of from ICU to high dependency, 0 0.5. And because we know this row must add to what? One, it then means that this must be what? Zero. That must be zero. That means that that must be zero. Uh, let's go to information two, which says, 10% of the patients in HDU at the beginning will be transferred to ICU. So that is from high dependency to ICU, 10%, 0 0.1. Uh, continuing, Whereas 50% will remain in high dependency. So it's a case of from high dependency to high dependency. That's a tension of 0 0.5. Actually, at that point, you don't even need to read the next information because you know that this now must be 0 0.4 so that we add to 1. Information three says 85% of those in general ward at the beginning will remain in general ward. So from general ward to general ward, that is 0 0.85. General ward, general ward. And then we are also further told that 10% and 5% to be transferred to high dependency and ICU at the end of the month. So 10% will be moving from the general to high dependency. And 5% will move from general to ICU. That is how you make. The expected proportion of patients that will be in ICU and the others by end of December. So, proportions by end of by end of December 2013. By end of December 2013.
So this question relates to a period of one month. Relates to a period of one month. So we will then say that if we got start of December, start of December 2013, start of December 2013, and then we multiply by the transition matrix, it should give us end of December, end of December 2013. If we get the start of December, multiplied by the transition matrix, you should get the end of December. So we are already in the loop. So we are ready to know that uh, at the start of uh, December, we have ICU here. We have the high dependency and the general ward. The general ward. When the bank was here. And according to information five, at the start of December, ICU had 10%, so that is 0 0.1. General ward had 25, 0.25. Sorry, that is the high dependency. At general at 0 0.65. And general at 0 0.65. So we are now seeking to multiply. We are now seeking to multiply by the transition matrix, which we already know it is 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05, then 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.1, then 0, 0 0.4, and 0.85. You already know that that is the transition matrix. And it is not a mass, it's all the square for the same line. It's for to share the answer of the opportunity. So don't struggle so much. Don't squeeze that particular sky as an example. We have a lot of space. So the answer we will get is for the ICU, for the high dependency, and for the general ward. So when you multiply, the same point one, 
times 0.5 plus 0.25 times 0.1 plus 0 0.05 times 0.65. You're getting 0 0.1075. Okay. Then to go away we did it, we do the same. 0.1 times 0.5 plus 0.25 times 0.5. Plus 0.65 times 0.1. Getting 0 0.24. Now, this is the last one. Eh? There are two ways of getting it. The first one is just multiply like our equal. You just compute like the others. Alternatively, you can say one minus these ones because they must add to one. So you say one minus 0 0.1075 minus 0.24. And that should give you 0 0.625 or 0 0.6525. 0 0.6525. So you can get it in those two ways. And that is the preferred method, the one of subtracting, if somewhere here you end up. Routings. If these ones were obtained after rounding up or down, it is better you subtract. Otherwise, if you don't, you will not add one. They may be less or exceed to the other. Ah, Zuri. And that being true. Now, this is where we get the steep steps. Go so down there, the steep steps. The steep steps. Now, steep steps is the other word for the wrong one. It's the other word for the equilibrium. So what do we do? Just like we did with the other one, we will begin by saying red x to be the share for ICU. Y to be the share for I dependency units. Z to be the share. For general ward to be the share for general ward. Where X plus Y plus Z is equal to one. And as I say, to make your work easier, uh, you say this one, the admission set is one minus X minus Y. Now, I my you tell us then we have x, y. Now, instead of writing z, you will write 1 minus x minus y. Instead of writing z, that is what you shall write. To be multiplied by 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 
zero point zero five. Okay. You're now writing the transition matrix. Uh, zero point five. Say this is zero point five. This is zero point five. And this is zero point one. Then this is zero. This is zero point four. And zero point eight five. Zero point eight five. Should be equal to. Should be equal to x, y, one minus x minus y. So we start multiplying just like we have what we have done with the other one. So you take these ones, multiply by this. So when you multiply, you get 0.5x uh, plus 0.1y. Then these three multiply this one eh? so that we get plus 0 0.05 minus 0.05x minus 0.05y should be equal to this x here. Should give you that x. Give you that x. Right. Let us now put like terms together. So there is 0 0.5 x. Now we will begin it minus 0 0.05 x. Now we that is the book out with the power minus. Eh? So minus 1 x. Here to solve the x. Those are x's. Then you say plus, if you put brackets, that's a bit the y. You to be in 0 0.1 y minus 0 0.05 y should be equal to, so that's how we were looking at the other side, at what here minus 0 0.05. To a calculator, we get these values that are in the brackets. Same point five minus point zero five minus one. We're getting what? Minus zero point five. Hmm? Because then we will begin at seven plus point one minus point zero five. That is zero point zero five one. Should be equal to minus point zero five. 
and this one you call it equation one. Remember, we require two equations because we have two elements here. We require two equations. Well, the safari then they are to do easy multiplied by the second column. So to find the info, the same uh, 0 0.5x plus 0 0.5y plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1x minus 0 0.1y. This should give us what? One. Should give us one. <coughs> then we seek to put right up together, whereby we will say 0 0.5x minus 0 0.1x under E, those are the x's, plus uh, 0 0.51 y minus 0 0.1 y minus 1 y should be equal to should be equal to minus 0.1. So working out, you should be able to tell me 0.5 minus 0.1 is 0 0.4 x. After you begin with 0 0.5 minus 0.1 minus 1. So you're in a book as minus 0 0.6 y should be equal to minus 0.1. And uh, this is equation number two. Question number two. So there are various ways you can use to solve equations. And just the other day when we were in the topic of functions, we were solving more using the elimination method. And then when we came to matrices, the other day we were talking about Solving spontaneous equations using matrices. Okay? So, because we are in the topic of matrices, I want to solve using matrices. But that does not really matter. Always use matrix method. Think about that a few elements. Just to emphasize on uh, what we are doing now. So, solving the equations. Solving the equations. Using matrix algebra, using matrix algebra, solving the equations using matrix algebra. We say you create matrix. Okay? Now, to Kasema, the first matrix is made up of the coefficients. So these coefficients of equation one and equation two. So I will have minus 0.55 and 0 0.4 here. Then I will have 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.6. Those are the coefficients in the two equations. The coefficients which now give me my first matrix. Put right by x, y. Put right by x, y. X, y. 
so that I get minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.1. And minus 0.1. Minus 0.1. So to Kasema, this one becomes a subject. Eh? So that you have X here and Y here becomes the subject. You get it as the subject there. Yeah? To be equal to, you bring this other one. You bring this other one, this one, as minus 0 0.55, 0 0.40, 0 0.05, and minus 0 0.60. And then this one comes in as an inverse. So it's raised to power minus one. It comes in as an inverse. It comes in as an inverse. To multiply minus point zero five then minus point one zero. Here, so we proceed down there and say equals. You remember the steps of getting the inverse of a two by two. The steps of getting the inverse of a two by two. We say you multiply the beta diagonal elements. So it will be minus 0 0.55 times minus 0 0.6. Then you minus then you minus the mid, the minor diagonal elements 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.05 0 Sasa, the next thing is to change positions of the major diagonal. You change positions of the major diagonal so that this is minus 0.6 and minus 0.55. You change positions of the major diagonal. Then you change the signs. You change the signs of the minor diagonal. So this then becomes 0 0.4. Uh, this becomes minus 0 0.05. And this is coming to multiply. We multiply minus 0 0.05 and minus 0.1c. We 
won't pray hivyo so sasa hii mambo kwa one out of So to a calculator of seven minus point five five times minus point six minus point four times point zero five. The answer is zero point B one. When you have this kind of sign, you see here, you have a negative sign. Yeah? It is better you just put them the way they are in the bar. So, to go back to the other side, minus 0.6 times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.05 times minus 0 0.1 equals. That is the easiest. So that if you see there is one and a negative multiplied by what becomes what? That is the answer. So I'm getting 0 0.035. And before we delete that, eh? now as I collect half a pair, we will have the answer because we know we shall divide them. Because we know we shall divide. <clears throat> so before we delete that, we shall have to appear equals. So divide that by 0.31. And I'm getting 0 0.1129. Let's write three. Let's write three. Let's write three. Let's use three decimals. Because then somewhere I'll need these two guys and then we go with four decimals, the decimals. <clears throat> but I'm gonna have a sheet down after we take a four or two. So let's take that one. That one. Then let's do the next one. You have to send uh, minus 0.6 times minus 0.05. Plus, no, 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 I'm doing the second one now. I should say minus 0 0.4 times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0.55 times minus 0.1. Minus 0.4 times minus 0.5. Oh, oh, now I should go. Times minus 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.55 times minus 0 0.1. I'm getting 0 0.075. Are you getting that? Okay. So if you divide it by 0 0.31, and again you confine yourself to three decimals, then you should give me 0 0.24. Two and this is for X, and that is who Y.
So thus, Z should be equal to one minus zero point one one three minus zero point two four two. And in the long run, in the long run, you can have a people. We have the word here. Yeah? So the first one is I see you. If you want to know the proportion, the proportion, see that is I X. Which is zero point one one three. If you want to know how many patients, how many patients will be that word? To now be a study, you can have a word on that. According to information four. Five thousand patients. So of these five thousand, I see you equal to heat proportion. So if you take uh, five thousand multiplied by point one one three, that tells you to have five sixty-five. Patients to have five into five patients. And then we are told. To maintain one patient in ICU is costing how much? Yeah, so the same money, 400,000 to multiply by 565. 226 And in the same understanding, you can do for the high dependency for the general. Then you will be able to get the totals uh, for the high dependency is zero point two four two. This is zero point six four five.
So this must add exactly what? One. Then you argue the same thing. Five that times point two four two. Five thousand times point six four five. And then you come here. This is two hundred thousand, and this is a hundred thousand. Multiply by two species. So finish that one. No. So yeah, okay. There's a question I sent to the WhatsApp. So it's what?
So look at that question, look through if you have access to it. That's it. So those who have uh, those who are online, I hope you have seen it. See, equal. Uh, for this one, eh? This one that you have solved, eh? On your own, you will attempt November twenty eighteen question two B. November twenty eighteen. November twenty eighteen question two B. Question two B. In a banana to nine, yeah, we will attempt that. So, as I come here from the Rio, I want us now to attempt this one. That is in the WhatsApp group. It's not in your past to pass, it's what I've said. Now that you have looked at it, uh, you are not able to see there. That's for which year? It is included. The one that you have figured out. Yes. It's a question of June 2011. Now, in that question, as you can see it, eh? As you can see it, I want to show you how some of those values have been arrived at. So, I think uh, that first December 2009. That first of December two zero zero nine.
Yes. So we have A. I just want to show you how we have the right dance. Now, if you look at the first column, if you look at the first column, A has how many customers? Two zero four. Two zero four. If you add those customers, same as two or four plus four sixteen plus five that one. Unapata? 11.51. Now, if you divide, can you tell me whether this is the one even there at 0.17? Can you tell me? Okay, when you round, you should agree. Then for B, you will also argue the same way that it is 416. You divide by this total of 1151. And the answer is the one that is given there as 0 0.361. Then C, you also argue the same way that it is five that one. You divide by seven fifty one, and that gives you zero point four six one. So if you are to come across that, you do it for using the next one. We come at two years one in the Malaysia. Like if you want to know the share of ICU, you get the patient to an ICU, you divide by 5,000. Eh? The total patients. Here in the Malaysia, 11.3 or 0 0.11. So now that we are here, let's copy the other one quickly. Uh, let's copy the other one quickly. The third first December uh, 2010. Shears. So if you go to that first, where there is A, Unapata Sasa, A and Kwana 212. If you add the totals of 212, no, 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 of 2010, that is 212 plus 417 plus 522. Is it 1151? Yes. Yeah, if you did the assignment for the assumptions, then you should have noted that we assume or is taken that the market size will be this constant. Now, now, I to put now 09, but we are the same. Yeah, so the market remains unchanged. What changes are the movement inside? So, if you divide, this is the one that is given there as 0 0.184. And therefore, we have understanding, this now becomes a matter of copying. 
divide by 11, 0, 11, 51, so that you tell us this is 0 0.362, then 522, 11, is 0 0.454, and this is C. That okay? Then we are told to we are told to get the transition matrix. Now, before you get the transition matrix, eh, you can see there are some gaps that are left there. And what is left? Yeah, there is something I've been saying that arrow shows retentions and losses. And the column shows retentions and gains. So for each sentence B, there are three things. There is the retention, there is gain and loss. So those three things should be there for you to make the transition matrix. So that's okay, Agaria here is what? Agaria here is what? Have they given you gains? I don't know how you can call gains. Have they given you losses? Yeah. So what is absent? Retention. So we must get to know how to compute retentions. We must compute those retentions before you go to do the transition matrix. So let's do the retentions. So if you start with A, Retentions must be what you started with. So no. What you started with, A began with 204. You less what was lost. If what are you A, the hypothesis are half of losses. The hypothesis are 15, and the hypothesis are 9. You see that? Okay, I can hear your call and losses. So that means when you take Gapi, 204 minus uh, 15 minus 9. If they retain, you want 8 there. And before you delete that from the card, okay? Now on a gain. They gain what? 12 and 20, eh? If you add, add 12 up and 20. So now they get what you can So they lost these ones, but I gain hour, then what about your 20 and 12? But uh mama. B, it began with the four sixteen. They lost twelve and seven. Twelve and seven. So four sixteen minus twelve minus seven is three ninety seven. That is what they must have been changed. And if we add this again, if you now add uh, 15 and 5, you break uh, 
four seventeen, you know. And then C, they began with five dot one. Five dot one. Wakapoteza twenty and five. So minus twenty minus five. Mm -hmm. The thing what five zero six so with that Sasa Marisa the Genesa our transition matrix transition matrix So it's a problem because you are going to have uh, workings inside there. So from A, B, C. So with this understanding, eh, it becomes very simple. This is A here, this is B, and this is C two. So A to my two are shall be what? One, one eight. Now you may retain one eight out of the original what? Two or four. Then it has lost, it has lost. Remember to say my row, row in the retentions and losses. Retentions and losses. So to make a loss. So in the potential 15 to B, so divide by 204. Now in the potential 9 to C. Then you do the same here. B, B now in the potential 12 out of the original force field. Now you can manage to retain 397 out of 416. Then you can put 7 out of 416. And then we will now have a potenza 20 out of uh, 5 or 6. No, no. Five that one. A couple five out of five that one. And then I can take five zero six.
Now you divide those values. So 0 0.954 here. So 180 divided by 204, 0 0.882. 15 divided by 204 is 0 0.074. Now, to ensure that we still go back to one, eh? here we saw this one you get it as one minus. So, one minus uh, 0.882 minus 0 0.074. You get 0 0.044. That is how you go about it to ensure that they still add to one. Then we will give them 12 divided by 4, 16. I'm getting 0 0.029. So the same one minus 0 0.029 minus 0.954. I'm able to record 0 0.017. 0 0.017. 20 divided by 5 at 1 is 0 0.038. 5 divided by 5 at 1 is 0 0.009. So we get 0 So if we are good there,
The next requirement is the share for 2011. Eh? So market share for 2011. So market share for 2011, you will need the share for 2010. So you will tell us 0 0.81, 0 0.184, 0 0.362, 0 0.454. This is for A, B, C to multiply 0 0.882, 0 0.029, 0 0.038, 0 0.0. 0 then 0 0.074, 0 0.954, 0 0.009, and 0 0.004, 0 0.017, 0 0.954. So we multiply those ones. So this equals, this will be equal to So we can calculate the number of the same as 0.184 times 0.882 plus 0.362 times 0.029 0.454 times 0 0.038 and this is 0 0.190. We confine ourselves to the index force. Maybe the examiner said the question. Then we will get at the core point 0.184 times 0 0.074. Plus 0.362 times 0.954 plus 0.454 times 0.009. So this gives me 0 0.363. That is for B. And as we say in the last one, we just subtract. So we say one minus 0.19 minus 0.363. So zero point four four seven.
So if it is agreed, finally let me frame the long run, and then I leave you to solve on your own. So the steep is made. So for the steepest state, I have told you about saying uh, red in our way here, but see as well, she the same You can just go straight because you already know what you're doing. So we will say X, then Y, then one minus X minus Y. Multiply to multiply the transition matrix so that we get x, y, then one minus x minus y. So to get the steep state, we are going to go So, that's how we can go bracket. Eh? The same as 0 0.882x plus 0 0.029y plus 0 0.038 minus 0 0.038x minus 0 0.038y should be equal to x. Because you already know what you are doing. You should go back to the time. This is ix. The same point eight eight two 
minus this one, minus 0 0.038. I have you minus this one. Eh? Sit down. Minus 1. And that gives you minus 0.156x. Then we can just have y. Mari Tasema 0 0.029 minus 0 0.038. And the answer is minus 0 0.009. Y should be equal to minus 0 0.038. Each. And that one you call it equation number one. So it's all right, you can't see right faster. Right. What price is in there? You sell me 0.074x. Plus zero point nine five four one plus zero point zero zero nine minus zero point zero zero nine x minus zero point zero zero nine y should give you y. Should give you so Sasa to find the same thing. Same zero point zero seven four minus point zero zero nine equals 0 0.065x. I tried to provide to say it was 954 minus 0 0.009 minus 1. It's minus 0 0.0551. Should be equal to minus 0 0.009. That's what you call it, question number two. Pick up for your story with Marisa. Because from there, see back of your solving functions. So you'll be able to solve that on your own. Kusha Marisa, you attempt September 2019, no, 2015, question one. Actually, question one, you attend September 2015, question one. The So, we will call it a lesson at that point. Then I'm going to send uh, some few notes by WhatsApp on what we shall be discussing in the next lesson. The input output analysis, just like one or two pages, which I suggest you copy by the time we meet. Uh, and even those who are online, ensure that you copy. Don't just print or that. Don't just have it and think that that's okay. I'm saying you copy. So you copy them so that when you meet in the next lesson, we just discuss quickly and solve some questions. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.